Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial about how did I use the Photoshop to enhance this picture and this render actually and I used Blender 3D to render and it's not important in which, uh, which software, 3D software you rendered uh, here we are going to post product, post process this picture and uh, to reach something like this as you see there is a big difference between this one and this Okay, let's start. The first part is to correct the lighting. And uh, I have changed this background before, as you see, it is obvious. So, let's start by two point curve. Control M and duplicate this and Control M. Come on, Control M. Never mind, from here. Okay, we need a two point curve. The first one should be here. We're going to control the white points. Okay. Do something like this. And apply. And as you see, it's not much difference, but it's the first step. And actually, we are uh, not expect a big difference. Okay. Uh, the next session, the next uh, sorry step, is uh, the noising. As you see, we have some noises here in this render. I'm going to give you a tip to how did you how you should uh, actually denoise this picture. And if you want to denoise, you should uh, increase the size of this render. And as a uh, Saying this, it is in the low resolution, and I increase it to about four thousand in uh, two thousand, uh, three thousand and two hundred. Okay, so it's much more bigger, and we can assign our denoising. To denoise, I use actually the surface blur, but in really, really uh, low, small. I'm sorry, uh, in the very low resolution in a low intensity. Uh, pay attention to this number. It should be one and should be six or five is okay. So as you see, the details of our render are fade. So what we can do, we can assign something to sharpen this edge. Sharp. Oops. Oh, Sharpen this H. Come on, man! What are you doing? Ah, uh -huh. this something like this. Sharpen this. So to do this, we need a high pass and duplicate this from filter others. High pass. It's really important and useful to try to use. The radius is shouldn't be high because it actually do not uh, focus on detail. So it's good, I think. Now we are going to here in the blending mode and change it to hard or vivid. Yes, vivid I think is better. Yes, vivid is much more better. So we have uh, actually the noise, but we don't lose our details. So. I wanted to check that if she recording or not. So uh, you can change the opacity, but I do not change it. Okay, let's copy this and I oh, mean uh, duplicate this and merge this layer. The next step is to another curve. Come on, man! Or it's not work. Control M. I don't know. So never mind. I try from here. Where are you, curves? Okay. Uh, we need see the one point. No, two points. It's okay. Or three points. Make the darkest point more darker and. Uh, Make it bright 
the most bright uh, the bright point ah come on the bright point more bright <laughs> I'm so sorry for this mistake that's much more better you see it's actually denoised I think if you're very successful in denoising I don't know let's see okay <clears throat> so the next part after the curving uh, three points uh, pay attention to that you need the first two point curve and then three point curve and after that uh, you have enhanced your picture okay the next part is the color blends I'm sorry uh, black and white black and white duplicate this layer and put it on soft uh, soft light uh, from here just uh, sign a black and white okay this is really helpful why because it's uh, you can change the uh, brightness based on color for example here is red as you see I change so I put it oh, what the hell is that <laughs> okay so I uh, come on so that's okay and then yellow and green should be more darker we don't have any uh, color like blue so yes and then we're going to lower the intensity of this as you see uh -huh, it's going to be more enhanced so the next part is to merge this layer duplicate and you need to work on this details this detail is really important so I use the camera 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 uh, raw filter so it's really important clarity is really 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 helpful and I actually use in every interior renders it focus on difference between the uh, whites and blacks as you see wow it's amazing see the difference before and after wow it's really good so it's okay that's not going to be so dramatic and uh, the next part is check texture texture focus on the smaller details like this here as you see you see it's more uh, obvious but I because I uh, because of clarity I uh, don't like to increase the texture so much because it's actually make the noise here for example you see it's very noisy this because of the much very much clarity that is signed but it's no important that's okay and uh, you can actually so never mind I will tell you in the next step okay and then duplicate this duplicating is really important because if you uh, do some mistake you can actually change you can actually uh, come back to the next uh, previous step okay the next thing here we can sign uh, color uh, balance it's really helpful why because it's allow us to do some effects first thing is mid tones and the next is the shadows okay that's good but uh, highlights is not really important in this renders you see it's not going to be okay it's really blue one so that's okay wow it's going to be very nice so 
let's have a compression wow <laughs> come on are you kidding me that's real cool okay guys uh, I think it's okay but uh, we have another step to this is a uh, plain it uh, hey guys don't forget to check the next video on the next week and this is the third video that I published and I actually uh, publish a video weekly so don't miss it because it's about unwrapping this all of this for example like this chair I will learn you how to unwrap using the blender 3d but if you use the 3d studio max or cinema 4d or anything you can uh, use that because it's that video because uh, it's focus on some basis of unwrap you know it's not uh, refer to special software like blender so from lens correction come to custom and use the vignette this is another enhancement and if you enjoy this video please subscribe because I really need your subscription that's done and uh, you can actually use this effect but uh, this is I like this more ok guys thanks for watching I saved this don't forget to check the next uh, video in the next week and if you enjoyed give me a like and subscribe thanks goodbye